All right, so in this video, I'm going to teach you two things. We're going to start with simplifying the addition and subtraction of logarithmic expressions into one single logarithmic expression. And then we're going to solve for x when x is an exponent. So starting with subtracting. So what you're going to do is basically this is the formula. So you have log base b of x. So obviously in this problem above, your base or the b value would be 5 and x would be 14 minus log base b of y. And now that is basically your equation in terms of variables, but the simplified equation will look like this log base b of x over y, x divided by y. So in this situation, it would be log base 5 of 14 minus log base 5 of 2. Obviously, what we have written right here. And you're just going to divide the 14 and the 2 and keep the same log base. So log base 5 of 14 divided by 2, 7. That's your answer right there. Really simple. All you're doing is dividing this term by this term and keeping this same base, all right? Very simple in subtraction. And essentially in addition, it's the same exact thing. You're going to take this term and this term, and you're going to multiply them, all right, and keep this same base. So what it's going to look like is log base b, Obviously, this is your b value, this is your x value, and this is your y value. Log base b of x times y. That is what it's going to look like. So in this problem that we have above, it would be log base 3 of 8 times 4. And in simplified terms, it would be log base 3 of 30. Two. Very simple. Just one note though, you can only do this when your bases are the exact same. So obviously here we have 5 and 5, here we have 3 and 3, so we can simplify this. But if you have different bases, then this won't work, all right? You can't do this. So that's how to add and subtract logarithmic expressions. It's very simple. Um, keep in mind, in addition, you're multiplying these two terms, and in subtraction, you're dividing these two terms, okay? Now, on to a different concept, solving for x when x is an exponent. Now, this is a little bit different. So, obviously here, 8 is our base, x is our exponent, and 8 to the x is giving us 14, right? So, we need to write this a different way. What we're going to do, since we are going to write this as log of 8 to the x equals log of 14. Now we have to solve for x. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide log of 8 to the x by log of 8 and do the same to the other side. Divide by log of 8. And then let me get my calculator here x equals, now in your calculator, just put log of 14 divided by log of 8. And I got 1.269. That is what I got, 1.269. All right. And now in this equation on the right, it's essentially the same exact thing. I'll just show you the one little difference. So you have set it up as log of 6 to the 2x equals log of 26. Obviously, you want to get the variable by itself. So you're going to divide both sides by log of 6. Okay. Now you're going to have 2x equals log of 26 divided by log of 6. Let me do that on my calculator. 2x equals 
eight, one, eight. And from here, all you do is divide by two, divide by two, x equals zero point nine oh nine. And that is how you solve for x when x is an exponent using logs. Both pretty simple concepts, and yeah, that.